welcome back in today's video we are going to be dockerizing a static website that has been created from html css and probably javascript so with me here i have a ready-made template i don't take uh, credit on creating this template this has been uh, downloaded online so this is what i would want us to uh, create an a docker image for so in our previous videos we have already seen how to set up docker on our machines and we have also reviewed how to uh, host or deploy a static website on the various types of hosting services may it be free hosting services may it be paid hosting services so in today's video we are going to see how to create a docker image for a static website and also recommend the various hosting services that we can deploy our docker image on right so this is the the template that we are going to use for demonstration so the first thing that we need to do is that uh, we already have these we already have these files here these are the files for the website that we are seeing so all that we need to do we need to open this code on a code editor in my case i'll open terminal here open in terminal then what i'll do i'll do code then a dot so in a case using your most convenient way to open your code please do that then i'll confirm that i trust that confirm all right so we are not going to uh, to talk so much about the basics of docker and all that because we have already done that in our previous videos i have attached the link to those videos in the description of this video all right so um the first thing that we need to do once we confirm that our web application is working as expected it's now time to um to create a docker image of this application so what we need to do we need to we need to create a docker file right in the base or in the root directory of our application right so it should be the same level with what we are seeing here right so i'll just click outside outside here then select new file then create a docker file so this should be the sparing should start with a capital d every other thing should be uh, in lowercase once done you can just press enter to create that file so in here we need to we need to start writing the uh, docker file code and to be specific for a static website that uh, has been created on html css and javascript if probably it's a php or any other uh, language then this might slightly be different but in this case let us focus on what has been created on html css and javascript so the first thing the first thing is to mention the base image so in this case the base image we are going to use nginx so we need to start to to declare the base image we start with from so we have from i have auto compression in my case so sorry so i have from and i'll be talking about nginx nginx and because uh we would want to use a very light image uh, we can go with nginx alpine this gives us a very light image but in your case you can go with nginx and probably select any other version of uh, the nginx image so here we can declare like um uh, declare the base image right so the next thing that we need to talk about is uh setting a work directory so in here you need to appreciate the default nginx folder this is where if you have already set up an nginx server you can easily upload uh, an index.html index.php file and have it served to uh, to the network so this is the directory that we are going to declare here 
yeah so what we need to have we need to, uh, to mention work dir then mention the path so the that path in uh, edge next we have uh, usl we have share we have nginx we have html all right so the next thing is we would want now to after creating this folder we would want to copy all these files and then move them to this directory that we have declared here so so we want to copy let me just talk of copy files so we we'll use the copy command and uh, as we can see we have to copy from the source and destination all right so what we have as a source is that we have the current we have the current directory which we denoted with a dot then the destination will also be uh, declared as a dot right simply because uh, the first dot refers to the current directory then the second dot of the destination refers to the working directory all right so that's how to that's how to decreate then uh, the other thing is to expose the default nginx port all right so let me just put a comment expose uh, nginx port just putting my comments uh, in simple terms so we are going to talk about expose port so the default port in nginx we are going to work with port 80 right and finally uh, we need now to provide the command that will be used to uh, to serve our application so let us let me just talk of command and the way to denote a command is that we talk about cmd then have the rest of the information in here so we are going to have cmd then inside the the square brackets uh, we also introduce some double quotations or single quotations then we have nginx then we are going to have uh, a minus g and then in here we have let me just mention diamond off and and terminate with a semicolon All right so this is what we have and uh I have set my uh, Visual Studio code to automatically save any changes. So in your case, you just control, you just save this file, probably by uh, pressing on Control S or using whichever uh, click method that we have here, right? So once we do that, the next thing will now be uh, providing the command that will uh, create a Docker image of our static website. So in my assumption is that we have already installed uh, is that we have already installed Docker on our machine. Make sure that Docker is also installed on your machine. Find the link to install Docker on your machine in the link provided below. All right. So in here we need to provide that command that will create a Docker image. So the way to do that is that we have Docker. Then we mention a build then we have to tag our image and uh, tagging comes in uh, many forms because we may not be interested in pushing this to our docker hub account so in that case we can just give it a random name that will make sense to us so maybe i can start with static static web app that's enough then once that is done I just provide a dot to denote uh, dockerize what is in the current directory or the location of our docker file so our docker file remember I opened my project from these um, from this uh, location so meaning uh, our docker file is available here All right so in a scenario that I need to push this image to my docker hub account I would have been required to provide my docker hub username in here for instance my username is Danny Wangari then I would have done that 
but if I don't intend to push this image to uh, my Docker Hub account, then I can leave this part here. All right. Alternatively, I can just create with what I had before here. Then I'll just tag this image and add my username. So whichever way you prefer, as long as you are you are aware of uh, how to go about it, then well and good. So I'll use this. Press Enter. And in, a, in some few seconds, my image has already been built. So in your case, it might take a little longer depending on um, if some of these images have been um, have been pulled to your system. All right. So in my case, I had already pulled in the next Alpine image on my machine. So uh, it was able to refer to this particular image so in your case it might take a little more time all right so this is the image that we have just created it's a, a right with image around 52 mbs and we want to see how to serve this image all right so to serve this image we just let me clear my screen all right docker Yes, of course we see uh, there is this uh, this name that we have given it. It's the latest tag. We did not give our image a tag, so automatically it takes the latest. Then there is this image ID created about a minute ago, and the size is 52 MBs. So to run this image, what we need to have is that we have Docker. Then we can run it. Then uh, we can mention the port, so we can expose it to port 80. In the outside of the docker container and we are mapping this from the port 80 that we exposed remember there is this port that we exposed here this is the port that we are mentioning here right then the next thing that we need to mention is the name of the image right so let me see right right so i see that port 80 is already in use so in that case I am supposed to either stop the application running on this port on my machine or use a different port. So uh, what you need to do, let me just put use a port like 8000. Let me see that is available. Right. And it's available. So the next thing is to try and access our web application from the Docker image. So I have that and I think I used port 8000. Let me just press enter. And there we go. So this email, this website is being served from from the Docker image. So let me see. As you can see, there is so much rocks being populated here. In case you do not need to uh, see the real-time rocks as they populate, then we can modify our command, and this is how to do it. So we just add a hyphen D before uh, mentioning image. So once we add the hyphen D, then we can just press on enter. And this will return an ID, which simply means that uh, our container has started. So if we just inspect Docker PS, we'll see the container is up and running so if we go back to our web application then we can confirm that everything is working as expected so basically this is the command that we are supposed to use in production because once we log out to our system we still need our container to be up and running in case we intend to push this image to our docker hub account the quickest way to do that is to first ensure that we target with the username of your account. So what I'll do is that I'll talk about Docker tag. I'm going to talk about, uh, I'm going to give the current name, then mention the new name that I want to give to uh, my image. So basically it will create another image with the new uh, with the new name so let me just have docker images 
and I see that uh, we have a new image with um, uh, the same size. So let me try to access my Docker Hub account. Right, so uh, if you check, probably the latest, the last image that I pushed was 19 days ago. So let's try to push this particular one. So let me have Docker images. So you have Docker push. And, uh, and of course, you have first of all to log in. Let me just first of all confirm that I'm logged in. Docker login, authenticating with the existing credentials. Right, so I'm already logged in. So in your case, you need to provide your username and the password right so once we do that i have docker push then i mention the name of the image that i want to push i don't need that so we have docker push then we provide the name of the image Right, in less than a minute, I believe our image has been pushed to uh, our Docker Hub account. So just reload. And we see the new image that has been pushed less than a minute ago. So once we have a Docker image, we have quite a number of various platforms that we can uh, host a docker image one of them is uh, you can provision you can provision an ec2 instance on aws set it up to be able to serve your docker image and do the rest of the configurations then we also have some uh, some ready server have been customized to be able to run and to be able to run docker images in such a way that you only need to provide a docker image and also uh, provide your domain name and all that and it will automatically be set up then we also have one of these examples is uh, we have render and we have talked we have talked about it in a previous video on how to uh, deploy your docker image here so i have also indicated the link to that video below so check out those options and select the best for your case and that marks the end of this video thank you for watching and thank you for staying up to this should you have any challenge working with docker containers or any technical challenge please reach out in the email indicated below thank you and goodbye